Hello and welcome to this week's Glass Tire Top 5. It is the week of August 27th, 2020, and I am Christina Reese. And I'm Brandon Zeck. Uh, we're in Houston right now. We are at Foltz Fine Art um, on Westheimer, and this is a group show that we will get to in just a minute. Number five this week is a show by Esther Partegas. It's called No Retention, and it's at Pure Joy, which is in Marfa. Uh, this show opened in June. It's going to close the 31st of this month. So if you're in Marfa, which is probably mostly locals right now, uh, <laughs> but if you're in Marfa, you can see it for a little while if you make an appointment. Um, this is a very, it's a very appropriate kind of quarantine at home show. The works were made in Marfa during quarantine, but they're also very much kind of about modernist sculpture plus home life. Yeah, she's uh, she's from Spain originally. She uh, lives and works in Brooklyn mostly, but I guess her family has a home in Marfa. They've been spending uh, the quarantine in Marfa and all these works have been made since quarantine began. They're basically, they're sculptures of laundry baskets that have been sort of transmogrified into different forms. So sort of cheerful, sort of weighted. And if you're not in Marfa, we do have a uh, five minute tour on our site that Pure Joyce shared with us. So you can still see it. Mm -hmm. Number four on our list this week is at Art Space 111 in Fort Worth. This is the seventh annual, um, it's a, their um, Texas Juried Exhibition show, which is a big one. I've juried it in the past, but this is the expanded, much expanded online version of it. There are 1900 works in this show all online. The original show and its physical space was 67 works but to give you a sense of how much jurying there is to do uh, it's the 1900 works that you can see. The curator for this was uh, Kristen Gaylord who's the assistant curator of photographs at the Amon Carter. To have the entire show or all of the submissions online it means you'll get to see things that you wouldn't have been able to see if it was just pared down. Uh, I believe a lot of the works most of them are for sale also, mm -hmm. so there's some affordable art that you can look at. Also, they slightly changed the name because it's not the sixth annual jury or the seventh annual jury show. Instead, it's called Texas Now 2020 Texas Artist Showcase, which is the, an appropriate name. Mm -hmm. Number three this week is a show uh, in person at McLean Gallery in Houston. It's called Dorothy Hood Collage. So I actually went out and saw the show last week. I made an appointment at McLean, uh, which you can still do. It closes on the 29th. So again, this is kind of your final chance. We've talked about Dorothy Hood on the top five before. Uh, we've written about Dorothy Hood. We love Dorothy Hood. She was a uh, Texas modernist who didn't really get that much attention in her lifetime. She, she got some, but her big revival really came from a show that Susie Khalil did down at the Art Museum of South Texas in Corpus Christi. Um, her paintings are fantastic, but I don't know, there's something about her collages that I am just kind of partial to. Um, she's using old bits of paper, she's using candy wrappers. It's, she just has an eye and she does what any good collage artist does, which is she pairs things that just make sense together. And this is a show of a lot of those pieces. Number two on our list, we are here at Fultz Fine Art in Houston. It is called Texas Emerging Volume One. So this is gonna be the first in a series of group shows. Uh, you have seen the show now twice. This is mm -hmm. my first visit. Yeah, so the show features five artists, uh, Tom Bandage, Teresa Escobedo, Ronald Jones, Matt Milano, and Duel. So when I kind of, the first time I came in and saw the show, I, I, I thought that, I mean, it's, it's quite a few artists whose names I'm familiar with and whose work I kind of see here and there, possibly in group shows or whose names I know from doing projects or curating shows, but I hadn't just seen a strong collection of their work uh, together. So this show's almost set up so that it's kind of five small solo shows, mm -hmm. which is a really nice way to present the work because it gives each artist their own space. Uh, behind us is one of Ronald Jones's big uh, yarn installations. He's done a lot of them outside. This one is actually inside, and I think it's it gives him a really kind of nice way to play with the space. Um, the paintings by Duel are fantastic. Matt Milano's pieces are really nice. Uh, Teresa Escobita's photographs. This is, this is a really nice show. It is also only up through August 29th, this is kind of a theme. There are a lot of shows that are closing that went up over the summer, um, but Folds Fine Arts is accepting appointments right now. Mm -hmm. So if you can come see it this weekend, uh, you can do that or you can watch the tour. We have a five minute tour of this on our website also. 
bring your mask if you come. Number one on our list is Yil Roca at Pressa House in San Antonio. I love this tour. We've got it on our site. I became familiar with his work. He was in the Transborder Biennial in El Paso and Juarez in 2018, and I loved it. One of his foosball pieces is in this. This is mostly sculpture, uh, although if you if you can't make it there before, I guess maybe the 29th, or if you just want to go to the outside, there's actually an incredible welcome mat that he's done. This is called um, The Things We Carry. And so a lot of the sculptures have to do with containers. He calls them portraits. They do have a kind of anthropomorphic sort of presence in the room. He also has a lot of two-dimensional works, a lot of sketches. Um, and these are studies or sketches for future works. But I mean, these sculptures have a, a tremendous amount of kind of political weight as well as a kind of psychological weight. He's putting a lot of uh, well-worn and very familiar objects together into these sculptures. And, um, and there is a psychological weight to that, the familiarity and then the newness of it. He is from Laredo and he uh, lives and works there and is based there. I love this show. I'm so impressed with it. I would love to see it in person. If you are in San Antonio, please do. Um, otherwise, check out the tour on our website. And uh, that's our number one pick for this week. So that's it for this week. Uh, if you can, like us, subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, we have a ton more videos coming along with all of the five minute tours that we're posting. So that'll be the best way to make sure you see everything that comes down our channel. Um, we're shooting this before the hurricane does or does not hit Houston. <laughs> Everyone out there, stay safe. Stay safe in Houston. Stay safe in East Texas. Stay safe from wherever you're watching from. And we know you might not be able to get out and about to see art this week. So uh, we're always here for you online, and we have a lot that you can see. So uh, with that, see some art. See some art.